what if you had 10.75 divided by 2? Okay? You would write 10.75 divided by 2, and you would write your decimal point for your answer right above there. And then you just try like usual. Can 5 go into 10? Yes, it can, 5 times. 5 times 2 gives you 10. And then you go ahead and subtract, okay? You're going to get a 0 here, and you say, well, can 2 go into 0? No, it can't. But I go ahead and I drag my 7 down, okay? Notice I'm not doing anything with the decimal under here. Can 2 go into 7? Yes, it can, 3 times, because 3 times 2 is going to give me 6. And again, I can subtract. And I bring a 1 down. Can 2 go into 1? Well, no, it can't. But before I give up, let me go ahead and drag down my next digit, which is a 5. Now I ask, can 2 go into 15? Yes, it can. The closest I can get is 7, because 7 times 2 is 14. Okay? 7 times 2 is 14. And when I take 15, subtract 14, I'm only going to have one left over. Question is, can 2 go into 1? Well, no, it can't. But don't forget that in decimals, you're going to have to start adding zeros. Basically, you're always going to have to have a remainder of 0. So let's drag a 0 down. Can 2 go into 10? Yes, it can. 5 times. 5 times 2 gives me 10. 10 minus 10 gives me 0. So now I have a 0 down here finally, okay? And no more digits to drag down, so I'm done. I stop. 5.375. I know that this is coming fast and furious, but the only way that you can really get good at these is to, is to do a lot of these problems. It's really the only way. What if you have 10.75 divided by 3? Okay. Well, you write 10.75, you're dividing by 3, and you put your decimal up there because that's where your answer is going to be. How many times can 3 go into 10? Well, it can go 3 times because 3 times 3 is just going to give you 9, and 9 is as close to 10 as I can get. Now, 10 minus 9 is just going to give me the 1, so I write that down. Can 3 go into 1? No, it can't, but before I give up, drag down my next digit and make it a 17. Can 3 go into 17? The closest I'm going to be able to get is 5, because 5 times 3 is 15. Okay, and then again, I subtract. 7 minus 5 gives me 2. 1 minus 1 is 0, so I don't have to write that. So 17 minus 15 gives me 2. So the answer is, the question is, can I take 3 and divide it into 2? Well, no, I can't. So I try before I do anything else and drag another digit down. Can 3 go into 25? Can 3 go into 25? Yes, it can. It can go 8 times because 8 times 3 is 24. Okay? 8 times 3 is 24. 25 minus 24 is just going to give me 1. Can 3 go into 1? Well, no, it can't, but I can, remember, add a 0 anytime I need to. Let me try to drag that 0 down and see what happens. And now, here's where the problem starts to get tricky. 3 divided into 10 goes how many times? Well, 3 times 3 gives me 9. That's as close as I can get. 3 times 3 gives me 9. So I write that down. And I subtract, and I get a 1 here. Okay? I get a 1 here. Well, can 3 go into 1? Well, no, it can't. Well, I can add another 0 if I want. And I drag it down and make a 0. And I have 10 again. How many times can 3 go into 10? Well, it can only go 3. Okay? And so 3 times 3 gives me 9. 10 minus 9 gives me 1. You see, I'm in an infinite thing here. I can never get out of this problem here, okay? You see, every time I add a 0 and drag it down, I'm going to have 10, like I had right here. And every time I try to divide into 10, I'm going to have to put a 3 up here, because 3 times 3 gives me 9. But every time I do that, I'm going to subtract, I'm going to get 1, and that's going to be exactly where I start with. You see, it happened here, and then it happened here, and it's going to happen again if I keep adding zeros. So, you can keep adding zeros all you want. You're never going to get anywhere. Okay? So you can see I keep putting threes up here because that's exactly what the answer is going to be because of this problem with the tens down here. So the answer to this problem is going to be 3.583333333. It goes on, 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 on. Threes go out forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Okay? 
And another way to write that is 3.583, and you can put a little bar over the three, and that tells you that the three goes on forever. The 5.8 doesn't go on forever, but the three goes on forever. So now I can say with a little more confidence to you, now that you've seen a problem, that when you're dividing decimals, you keep going until you get a zero here with no more digits to drop, or if you ever get caught into one of these loops where you know you keep adding digits because you keep you keep getting the same thing over and over and over down here then there's no point to continue you just stop and say okay well the answer is going to have a repeating number of threes okay now if you were to take this in your calculator 10.75 and divide by three you would see that the threes would go on and on and on forever okay so just keep dividing and keep doing the rules that you know until you run into something that repeats or until the answer cleans itself up and is nice and neat.